एवरीवन वेलकम टू यूनिफाइड स्टडी सो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस क्वेश्चन दिस इज ए आईपी डेटाग्राम क्वेश्चन आईपी हेडर वेयर दे प्रोवाइड ए हेक्साडेसिमल नंबर इट इज ए बिग हेक्साडेसिमल नंबर फ्रॉम हियर यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई कि व्हाट इज द हेडर साइज व्हाट विल बी द टोटल साइज ऑफ द डेटा एनी फ्रेगमेंट ऑप्शन इज देयर और नॉट ऑप्शनल पार्ट इज देयर और नॉट हाउ मेनी राउटर्स इट नीड टू इट कैन ट्रैवल and after that what is the protocol number so with this type of question most of the students are getting confused and this question came in june 2023 ugc net exam in a comprehension type question means 5 into 2 10 marks was there from this type of question exactly what was the question i did not get the response sheet till now that's why exact question i am not able to identify but as per my student feedback definitely like this type of question was there so you can tell me but exactly what was the question exactly what was the data that is not a matter definitely maybe it was the data but i will explain you complete concept and it is actually easy fizzy lemon squeezy when you will understand that it will be very easy and after that you will think that why i am not able to do it before exam yes so that's why definitely subscribe to the channel click the bell icon to get all the latest update and notification and to be connected with us to clear your all concept on computer science and here these are the question i already discussed what came on ugc net 2023 same they have repeated june exam these are the already video i have uploaded before getting response sheet only so you can count your marks so now i am going to discuss this one so here if you did not watch the previous video you can watch that i am giving the link also in the description and in the top you can see ki this is the video you can watch okay so now you can see here actually what is ip datagram what is the header format to solve it you need to understand what is the header format ipv4 header format is looking like this here you can see in the ipv4 header format actually the 20b this is the 20 byte this is your mandatory part okay and here this 40 byte is the optional part this part is optional this is not the mandatory part so minimum size will be 20 byte maximum it can be 60 byte minimum is 20 byte always because this is your mandatory part now in the header these are the parts means if you are able to identify the part how many bits are there for which part then easily we can decode the number so here you can see first four bit is allocated for version that is ipv4 or ipv6 next four bit is allocated for the header length now here is a game in header length ki it is i am identifying with the four bit so it is the binary number remember the four bit whatever bit i am telling according to the binary number so using four bit maximum i can represent 1 1 1 1 that is what that is actually 15 in decimal but my maximum can be total 60 so what we will do whatever is here we are multiplying with 4 to get the original number so minimum here it can be 5 like 0 1 0 1 it can be 5 so if it is 5 i will multiply with 4 that is 20 if it is 15 then i will multiply with 4 then it is 60 it can be after 20 it can be anything 30 40 50 whatever just we will multiply whatever i am getting from here we will multiply with 4 after multiplying with 4 we will get the original length of the header next 8 bit is the types of service different types of services are there next one next 16 bit is the total length from this one you are able to get the total length what is our main target here from here i will get one answer from here i will get another answer next 16 bit it is first row is over in the first row what are the total bit you can see 16 plus 16 in each and every row there are total 32 bit next row again 16 bit is identification number 
after that this is one bit this is also one bit this is also one bit these are all one bit data it can be either zero or one and this zero is always fixed because this is a fixed one here this is don't fragment don't fragment means that ki we are sending the total packet right so when don't fragment it can be either zero or one so if it is zero means you are you can fragment it means you can split the total packet into some fragment sender will send it to zero means when it is traveling through the network if it is a big packet then it can be fragmented into it can be split into some part if it is one means you cannot fragment means don't fragment means either you have to send the total one or you cannot make it fragment you cannot split it now here is more fragment more fragment 0 and 1 here also it can be 0 and 1 what is going on here in 0 and 1 0 means that whenever it is traveling what is the uh, receiver receiver can understand that if it is 0 means there is no more fragment means either it is the last fragment or it is uh, means it is only one fragment was there one means receiver will understand ki it is not the last fragment some more data are coming because it was a long packet maybe you first part you got second part is there so from this one receiver can understand more fragments are there or not and this is only one bit allocated for this now after that 13 bit is fragment offset it is giving some more information about the fragment next one is the time to leave time to leave is 8 bit this time to leave is fixing the time how many router the data can pass means it will fix a timer like that just think about that example for example i am telling you ki i am going to send the packet i am i know that ki when the to reach to the receiver it's required 10 route 10 hop or 10 router to move so that's why it will be set to 10 initially it will be set to 10 whenever it's moving from one router to another router it will be decremented by one like 9 then 8 then 7 then 6 like that and when it is zero zero means it's the time to leave because zero means already i allocated you 10 already 10 router is over now you cannot be here why because why the importance otherwise maybe any packet can be in loop for a long long time and it can create a congestion that's why the time to leave is there and through the time to leave we will get another answer that how many hop and how many routers are required next one is protocol here with this 8 bit the protocol number will be there ki how many protocols are there what are the there are the list of protocol with the number we are able to identify which protocol it is and it is fixed like that tcp udp igmp there are some protocols there are so many protocols some popular protocols are there which have the fixed number through that number it will be able to identify okay this is this protocol next one is check some 16 bit is there for checking error it is checking for the error purpose check some will be there and next one is the source address from where the packet is coming destination address means where it will go after that this 40 byte is optional if header length is more than 20 byte means there are some optional part if it is within 20 byte if it is only 20 byte then no are no optional if like 30 byte so what will be the optional for 30 minus 20 that is mandatory so 10 is the optional part like that way we can calculate and after that there is the data so this is the thing now we will solve so how to solve it was the number given to you okay so i am first, so i am solving the first row first row i am solving and this number was given in hexadecimal if you see the question very carefully it was given in hexadecimal now what is hexadecimal see that every number is actually 4 bit means here it's 4 means how to represent in hexadecimal 1 2 4 8 this is the representation of hexadecimal that is means we will 
represent in 4 bits so 4 means what this is 4 then 0 0 and 0 this is actually representation so each and every number is actually 4 bit in that way we have to count remember that each and every number is actually 4 bit means how many numbers are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so 20 numbers are there means 20 multiply into 4 total this much bits are there i have to calculate like this way so don't be confused okay now we will calculate the bit so i am taking the first row in the first row you can see the 4 bit so 4 bit means what this 4 is directly i can take because 4 means the 4 bit because each and every one i am telling 4 bit so this is the 4 bit next one was header length and it is 5 but these are hexadecimal remember these are hexadecimal now any hexadecimal number you can convert into decimal first of all you have to convert into decimal how to convert 5 multiply into 16 to the power 0 means it will be automatically 5 and what i told whatever they are in the length you need to multiply with 4 because that is the format of the header whatever number is there we need to multiply with 4 if i am multiplying with 4 then i am getting 20 so your header length first question was there what is the header length you got that header length is 20 byte and from here only you can get another question ki is there any optional part or not but i told minimum header length is 20 byte and header length here given 20 byte so there is no optional so optional part there no there is no optional part types of service is coming 0 0 because here it is 8 bit 8 bit means first 0 is 4 bit next 0 is 4 bit that's why 2 so i am taking 8 bit here it was 16 so for 16 how many bit i have to take 4 bit so 4 into 4 that is 16 so i took this 4 bit here now all these first row is done with this way and from this first row you got the answer for the header length that was in the question so in this way you got the answer for the header length and the optional part is there or not this two answer is done it was very easy right now we will feel it was very easy after that next part in the next part what was there so i will solve the next part for the next row because this part is already done so this part is already done i am taking from the next row in the next row it was this identification number zero don't fragment more fragment next question was there what was the fragment fragment is there or not means you there are uh, it is fragmented or not like this type of question was there like so from this one what i will do first 16 16 bit means i have to take four number four number because each and every one is four so that's why i am taking this four number it will represent your four into four means 16 bit represented here that is your identification number now here here very uh, very carefully understand that this zero this zero i need to represent like four zero why why ma'am what i told one and each and it is a hexadecimal number hexadecimal number means each and every one is four bit so each and every one is four bit means this zero is actually zero 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 hexadecimal i need to convert in binary because here i am allocating only one bit here also one bit here also one bit so that's why this zero i have divided into four parts so that i can take ma'am why you did not do this one because this one was not required here 16 means i can directly do okay 4 into 4 16 here also you can write like 16 like 0 means 0 0 0 0 again 0 means 0 0 0 0 again 0 means 0 0 0 0 again 3 means you can represent the 3 in binary like 1 1 0 0 so you can represent like this way that is your 16 bit actually okay got it so that's why this 0 0 i am representing in 0 0 0 0 in that way this is the fixed one as i told this was your fixed one and this is your don't fragment don't fragment bt 0 here 
don't fragment because zero here means what fragmentation is allowed whenever don't fragment bt is zero means fragmentation is allowed don't fragment bt is one means fragmentation is not allowed so question was fragmentation is allowed or not so yes fragmentation is allowed here from here you are getting this answer fragmentation is allowed more fragment is also zero means here it is the last one so here it was not the question after that here it's required 13 bit now from this all four zero already three zeros i allocated for the flag here the extra zero coming and after that more 12 i need so more 12 directly i am taking this three zero this is four bit this is four bit this is four bit so three into four 12 from here 12 and from here one bit that is your 13 bit so 13 bit is done here now remaining number is 2006 this is also how many bits for here 4 so here total 16 bit is there right total 16 bit is here right now see this 16 bit i am dividing into two part because in the next row there was time to leave and here was the protocol so 20 means it is 8 bit and 06 means it is again 8 bit so 20 is representing your time to leave right 20 is representing your time to leave so time to leave how to represent i need to convert in decimal it is hexadecimal 2 multiply 16 plus 0 multiply 16 to the power 0 to the power 1 means it is actually 32 plus 0 that is 32 so how many router or hop it can travel answer will be 32 what is the protocol protocol number is 06 06 is the protocol number if the question is asking protocol number is what that is 06 what is the protocol protocol will be this is the some popular protocol list one means icmp two means igmp six means tcp so if name is asking then your answer will be tcp is the answer because you are getting here six because the six also if you are converting into means it is a hexadecimal number i have to convert in decimal then also what it will be zero multiply 16 six multiply 16 to the power zero to the power one this is zero plus six so it is ultimately six so that's why you are getting here tcp okay one point i miss another question was there that was the so it is done what is the header this one are there any option no because it is 20 only so optional means it have to be more than 20 so no what is the size of the data size of the data you can get from the total length here is the total length total length was what 0050 how to represent 0 means 0 multiply 16 plus again 0 multiply 16 plus 5 multiply 16 plus 4 multiply 16 to the power 0 to the power 1 to the power 2 to the power 3 this is 0 this is also 0 5 multiply 16 means 80 it is 4 16 to the power 0 means 1 that is 4 only so you are getting here 84 so the total length from here you are getting 84 and that's why your answer will be the total length is 84 fragmentation is allowed yes because don't fragment was zero that's why fragmentation allowed how many more router can the packet travel to that is 32 so it's power cut no problem i will continue i hope you can listen to me so i am ending so no problem so 32 here the answer will be 32 from here we got the answer 32 right this is the time to leave timer so it is 32 from here we got 32 and after that what is the protocol number here we got the protocol number six and as per the number six it is already fixed these are the protocol list okay so six means tcp so if by i think my students are telling that yes tcp option was there so answer will be tcp 
so this is the way how to solve the question i hope it's clear to you it's definitely if you if you don't know then you will be not able to solve in the exam but it's always better to learn something and those who are going to attempt the exam for them so it is definitely important so i hope this total concept is clear how to solve this question and what is the understanding so if you like this video then like share and subscribe to the channel and definitely let me know in the comment section your concept is clear or not and if you did guessing in the exam then how many question are correct now because maybe you remember the options what option you did so uh, by your guessing how many questions are correct because some students are telling me yes ma'am i did tcp so if you are able to remember then you can let me know in the comment section and we will wait for the response sheet after getting response sheet definitely we can match that yes answer is matching or not thank you stay tuned with this channel for more update bye bye